What is up you guys and welcome to your financial update for Friday, May 15th, 2020. There are updates on the $3 trillion bill, stocks, and much more. So let's get into it. For starters, Nancy Pelosi and the House are going to vote on the $3 trillion bill that has been proposed either later this afternoon or early next week. It'll depend on whether enough Democrats can get to the House to vote before the end of today. So if they can, they'll vote today. If they can't, they'll vote next week. Your next bit of news is that Apple's supplier of chips, TSMC, is building a $12 billion factory here in the United States to produce those chips for Apple here in the United States. This posed a question in my mind. Is Trump's plan really working of getting factories to come here? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I have no idea where I stand on this, so I'm curious to know what you guys think on it. Retail stores have absolutely just plummeted over the last couple of months. They're down about 17% on their sales. I think it was Mark Cuban said that retail stores already had one foot in the coffin, essentially, that they were already going out of business. And I think that's so true. Retail stores already were headed that way, and I think it, this is just going to kind of be the last nail in the coffin for a lot of them. Due to this fall with the retail stores and their sales, as well as tensions rising between the U.S. and China, the stock market started out a little rough this morning and was low, and now has come back up and is about even on the day. It's super confusing how the stock market keeps starting low and coming up or vice versa. It's basically because people are investing in the stock market based off of their feelings and predictions rather than based off of the evaluations of the company. Anyway, that is your financial update for this Friday. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. It helps the video get pushed to a larger audience and I appreciate it so much. Don't you ever forget to take care of yourself and comb your hair.